Hello everybody, my name is Nisin Lopez, I'm a 42 year old Cuban American artist based in Miami, Florida and I also happen to be a targeted individual, a victim of covert organized gang stalking sponsored by the deep state criminal cabal. Some people know this as contract stalking, as community based mobbing or as government retaliation, it goes by many names. The idea behind this uh, harassment uh, network is uh, pretty much to neutralize people that have been designated as enemies of the state. I'm talking about innocent, outspoken, law-abiding citizens, you know. The multi-layered uh, harassment is designed to cause a nervous breakdown so that the target will end up in a psychiatric institution, you know, isolated, discredited, demonized, with no support system. But today, I would like to focus, you know, on the agent provocateurs that are recruited by law enforcement in order to carry out this operation. <clears throat> the perpetrators of organized talking, you know, the people that will harass, agitate, intimidate, and ultimately terrorize the isolated target in an organized fashion, you know, these folks are known as citizens on patrol. You know, they are also known as surveillance role players or as neighborhood resource unit, you know. These uh, domestic terrorists uh, shielded from legal culpability, you know, they're going to use all kinds of unethical means in order to mess with a target, you know. I'm talking here about dark neuro-linguistic programming and negative aversive stimuli, you know. So, basically, you know, we're talking here about the military using the civilian sector as irregular forces, you know. So what does it take to become a member of this crime syndicate? Well, in order to be part of the, you know, to become part of this uh, vigilante operation, you don't necessarily have to be a member of a neighborhood association or anything, you know, but you have to be trained by the authorities, you know. You have to be 18 years old, you know, U.S. citizen, and you have to have a cell phone. So basically, if you're involved in this uh, proactive policing shit and you're attacked by a traumatized uh, targeted individual like Myron May, the cops, you know, they're going to say to you that they've never seen your face, you know? And all that stuff for what? You know, for a few dollars? For gift cards, you know? <clears throat> the fact of the matter is that, you know, most of the people that become surveillance role players are bottom feeders, you know? I'm talking about thugs criminals, ex-convicts, drug addicts, drunks, people with disabilities, mentally ill people, low-income families on food stamp, uh, homeless people, etc. There will be, of course, you know, successful people that will participate in this torture program. You know, they're going to do it because they've been brainwashed into believing that the, that the target is a, is a bad guy and, you know, and they're made feel that like they're patriots and heroes serving some type of noble cause. You know, so yeah, contract stalking, you know, gang stalking, you know, targeted individual program. This is a program based on the choice reference patterns of the target. And the clowns that mess with the target are enlisted through community groups, you know. So the bottom line is that law enforcement is behind the targeted individual program.